Hey guys, it's Johnny Fit Cat here. I uh, was asked by um, Danielle to show a video on how to do plyometric jumps and how to land properly. She couldn't remember the process of it, so I'm gonna kick my shoes off here. And I like to do insanity in my bare feet or in my vibrams. And the reason for that is because, especially when I'm doing plyometrics, even if I have to have a jump mat or I'm on carpet, to get a little bit of squishy underneath me, I like to feel where my feet are so that I get proper placement. So what you wanna do when you're doing a proper plyometric jump is you want to have good posture. So you're gonna, when you're standing, you're gonna have your glutes pressed forward and tucked up and in. You're gonna have your hip flexors forward folded. You're gonna have your rib cage kind of closed in almost. Your shoulders rolled back, okay? So that's your proper stance when you're standing. That should be pretty much what you're practicing. And then of course your head back. So that you have proper posture. So that you're not tweaking anything. Because if, if you jump like this and you've got your butt out and you're standing like this, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on your lower back. And it's going to um, put the wrong pressure in the wrong muscle groups. So when you're standing, you want your glutes, your hamstrings, your uh, rib cage, all of your, um, your abdominal muscles to be straight, you want your erector spinae, those muscles in the back, straight muscles in the back to be straight, you want your shoulders rolled back, and your arms kind of loose. So to do a plyometric uh, jump, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down, you have to go down to go up, okay? So the idea here is to squat back, knees do not go, they, they tend towards the toes, but they don't go over the toes, you're squatting back, and then you're using your propulsion to bring you up as high as possible okay now when you land you want to be landing toe ball heel right so toe ball heel you don't want to land on your heel that's going to put too much pressure on your heel itself you don't want to land on the ball you want to land closer on the toe because that's how the foot's made so that when you jump up toe ball heel up toe ball heel and it's a very quick motion so instead of falling backwards like you would think about with a squat, because you're squatting back and you're on your heels, but when you come up and down, toe ball heel. That protects your feet, protects your knees, protects all your muscles and your joints and everything, and allows you to jump higher and to get more momentum out of it. So if I'm doing one of Shanti's favorites, where I'm coming up on a tuck jump, and I'm lifting from here my abdominal muscles, I'm still coming back down toe ball heel. Okay, so that's how you do a proper plyometric jump. Have fun and show me your own videos.